unhealthy could directly result in a patient having a heart attack. Hero High stands for the Health, Education, and Research Occupations High School. Show people how does it look like when you eat too much fast food. We are a 9 to 14 school. That means students can start with us in the ninth grade, stay for six years, and graduate not just with a high school diploma, but also an associate degree in either nursing or community health. We're very lucky to be partnered with Hostos Community College. Through working with them, we are able to offer real college classes starting in the 10th grade. Students that are interested in nursing could have fulfilled the prerequisites here at Hero High School. Then if their grades are sufficient, they would take a standardized test and they would enter into the nursing curriculum at Hostos. If their grades are not sufficient or they wish to go into a different career, they would go into community health which is designed to be continued into a four-year school seamlessly. We want to make sure that you guys have good customer service. Our other partner is Montefiore Medical Center. Our students get a lot of work-based learning experience along the way, internships, a chance to learn practical skills and practice them in uh, real world, real working environments. But what do you hear every time I beat his heart? For ninth grade, the students come on site about one to two times a month and we create workshops that are primarily hands-on to sort of supplement what they're learning in the classroom. So Genesis is also interviewing Kimmy. In the 10th grade we start learning more about careers in different fields. Why do you want to work here? Because we think it's it's important to get these students exposed to what we consider professional development early on. So we focus on interviewing skills and customer service because these are the soft skills that are going to make them exceptional candidates to get work in the healthcare field. If your mom or dad is not breathing, is this good? No. By the time they get to 11th grade, we're going to be pairing them with mentors that are actually in careers that the students are interested in. The mission of the school is to promote social mobility for communities in the South Bronx, which is one of the most disadvantaged school districts in the country, and also to bring more people into the healthcare workforce who are culturally competent. People are always more comfortable when their caregivers look like them and they speak the same language. You can comment on somebody else's response. The students that are going to come out of here and ultimately wherever they go to work in the healthcare system, they're going to bring that sensitivity and that knowledge of the people so that they'll be a more effective caregiver. The degrees that we offer are in demand and they are good jobs. Not all of our students will become nurses, but because our students have had these career opportunities, it will be easier for us to help them get jobs, it will be easier for them to keep jobs as they go on, and that will make a real impact on their lives and what they're able to do for their families. Four, five, six. They seven, have eight, the potential nine, to give and do so much. We have to create opportunities for them. When young people start to see themselves as potential employees, as potential contributors to their community, as potential college students, we're here, we're gonna have to turn them over. They start to act that way. I want to be a pediatrician where I work with little kids. Or I want to be an orthodontist because I kind of like that. And we come to our decision. And we would like to hire Mr. I think they're really intuitive and I think they're very self-reflective and I'm really looking forward to how they're going to grow and the differences that they're going to make in this community and especially in healthcare.